Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors Adventures. I think my 300 blackout pistol is now complete. The last edition, I just installed a Pulsar Apex XD38 Alpha. This has the LCD screen. Tell you what, this is an awesome build. Everything, all told, tips the scales right at 10.5 pounds with the Bog Pod Extreme Shooting Rest. Just as a quick review, we'll go through all the pistol's components. I've got a PC armament buffer tube assembly in the back. I've got a Odom Works. This is our new billet upper. That's an awesome upper. Uh, I've got an Anderson lower. Odom Works 10 and a half inch. 300 blackout stainless steel barrel with the uh, pistol length gas system obviously Odin works clamp on adjustable gas block the Odin works uh, I think this is the 9 inch O2 light rail awesome rail of course I got my lead foot suppressor this is the uh, 20 ounce LE3 rated for 308 as you can see the uh, Pulsar Apex XD38 Alpha I'll tell you what this is just the perfect form factor Awesome, I'm really enjoying this 300 blackout pistol. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, of course, I've got the Odin Works internals, the uh, bulk carrier group. Awesome BCG there. Now, a little bit on my setup as far as recording. I've got a uh, Pulsar EPS3, this is the external battery pack. And then I've got a simple mini DVR. Also have the uh, Savvy Sniper Sling. It's an awesome sling made here in Ohio. Can't forget the PC Armament. This is the uh, flat trigger, awesome trigger. Of course, also have a uh, the lower trigger guard. Uh, this is the brush nickel finish. I thought that was pretty sharp looking. Last but not least, I've got a Lancer. These are the L5 magazines. And then No Doubt Stoked with the Lehigh Defense. These are the 100... 68 grain controlled fracturing subsonics. I think I've got these loaded uh, to around a thousand feet per second. Let's go ahead and take some practice shots in my indoor shooting range. All right, folks, I'm set up. I've got the Pulsar Apex XD38A. I already pre sighted it in. At this range, this is about 11 yards. My point of impact is right around two inches low. I just know that from experience shooting other thermals. Essentially, it's the, uh, the distance from the center line of the scope, your aiming point, to the center line of the bore. We'll go ahead and uh, see what happens here. I'm going to hit the calibrate. If you notice, I've got a, the Pulsar remote switch mounted right here. It's just more tactical for myself when I'm out hunting coyotes or hogs at night. Go ahead and semi-auto calibrate it. Here we go. Boy, did you notice that, that first round pop and then the subsequent shots are so much quieter. I can just hear the action of the, uh, the AR. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've got a uh, JP Enterprises. This is with the, uh, the silent captured spring. <laughs> it's just clicking along, baby. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Right on. Woohoo, she's smoking now. Look at that. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm pretty pumped. I've got the 300 blackout put together, build complete. Very happy the way this all progressed. If you uh, check out, I'm going to put a link to the 300 blackout uh, pistol playlist. Check that out. You know, this is uh, coming up. I'm headed out to uh, Las Vegas Sunday to cover the 2017 SHOT Show. Pretty excited. I'm going to be at the uh, Lehigh Defense Eurotech booth. I think it's on the uh, main main level. If you guys are going to be there, check me out. We'll, we'll go ahead and talk about some awesome products. And I will also be covering SHOT Show on a daily basis on my YouTube channel, AP2020 Outdoors Adventures. Anyways, man, I'm so pumped. I'm looking for an awesome year coming up in 2017. Oh, by the way, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my AP 2020 Vlogs channel. I just started. I've got two subscribers now. Woohoo! <laughs> you got to start somewhere. All right, we'll see y'all later.